Born to Food Rescue is a direct response to the fact that we are wasting half our food supply. And when you look at the other side of that equation is that one in seven are hungry. Food waste is also one of the largest components in landfills, which means they cause um, about 16% of methane emissions, harming our environment. So one of the most difficult things about food waste is that it is highly distributed and there is no cost effective way to recover it or redirect it to those in need. So the traditional trucking or hub and spoke model does not work. So what we've developed is a solution that takes a cue from other distributed transport networks out there. And you see it everywhere, Uber, Lyft, Grubhub, um, you know, and, and more and more towards where Amazon is going to. So what we have is a mobile app that mobilizes now 3,000 drivers in the Pittsburgh region, which makes us the largest food transport network in any urban region. And these drivers receive push notifications when there are, there's food that's available to rescue. And they say, I'll do it, um, and take the food from their nearest Giant Eagle to a nonprofit that we've assigned it to. Through this network, in two years, we've moved over two million pounds of food. Two million pounds of food from going to waste to feeding someone who is in need. Foreign to Food Rescue is a technology company with a very different assumption. We assume that everyone wants to do good, but may not know what to do, may feel like they don't have time to do it, or may just feel like they just have no other options. So what we've come up with is a technology solution to basically take out what's good in everyone and you know, give them an opportunity to make a difference in the world. So Foreign to Food Rescue works on hunger. And what you do when you download our app is you basically sign on to be a driver or what we call a food rescue hero. And when you sign on to be a food rescue hero, you will receive push notifications every day on available food rescues. And what this means is, you know, Giant Eagle in Shady Side has food available today. Will you take it to this nonprofit that we've assigned it to? And most of the time, drivers only spend about half an hour on a food rescue because the distance between the Giant Eagle and the nonprofit is less than five miles. So you take this food, you go to the Giant Eagle, and then you go to the nonprofit and then you get all the hugs and you get to see who this food is serving. You're not going to a strange warehouse. And then you get to feel all the good feelings. You know, um, studies have shown that people who are altruistic live longer. And so that's why the people that are food rescue heroes keep on going back.